guys, it's me, and today I did a nautical themed nail tutorial for you guys, and this nautical theme is really in for the spring. It's a huge trend um, for spring and summer. As you can tell, this shirt um, follows the nautical trend, and also this necklace. It's an anchor necklace. So this is what the nails look like. And they're just so cute. I absolutely love them. I'm going to have these nails on all week and maybe even uh, redo them for a second week. I'm just going to keep putting top coat and save the design as long as I can because I just absolutely love this design. Anyways, I hope you guys love this design as much as I do and I hope you guys try it out and let's get started. In order for you to create these nautical themed nails, you're first going to be needing a white color for the base of your nails. This is White on White by China Glaze. You will also be needing a navy blue color by China Glaze. This is First Mate. You can also use OPI's Dating a Royal, but I recommend this China Glaze one because you only need one coat to get the color that you want. Then you'll be needing a gold colored polish. If yours is not thin tipped like mine, you're also going to be needing a nail brush. Then you're also going to be needing a thin tipped white polish. And as an option, you can add some gold glitter. I already have my base coat um, on my nails, so now I'm just going to apply two coats of China Glaze's White on White to my nails. After you have applied two generous coats of white to cover the nail completely, we're going to next create this V-shaped tip. So we're going to be taking our navy blue polish, and with just the right amount on the brush, we're going to be creating a diagonal line like this on the tip. Just like that. And it's okay if you get a little bit on the skin because you can use an orange wood stick to clean it up. Next, you're going to create the exact same thing on the other side, meeting the line in the middle. Like that, and clean it up with your orange wood stick. You're going to want the navy blue color to dry before adding the next step because you don't want the colors to blend together. So I'm going to let that dry for about 5 to 10 minutes and then come back to you guys. Once I've allowed the navy blue color to dry on the tips, I'm just going to go in with my thin tipped white polish and I'm just going to be making that white stripe that divides the blue in half. So with just the right amount of polish on your brush, you're going to want to go in and and slowly make the perfect line. Once you've reached about the middle of the nail, directly below the V that you made with the blue polish, you're going to want to stop and then start from the other side and continue the line again to the middle. Just like that. You can work in small strokes in order to get the line straight or if it helps to do it all in one stroke, then that's fine too. Go ahead and do whatever you can to make that line straight. Like that. And the trick is to start at the same height when making this line as you will making this line. And you're going to do that with the blue as well. Just so that the line meets in the middle at the same spot. Once you've done the navy blue and the white part of the nails, I think it's beautiful if you want to leave it like this, but if you want to go ahead and complete the nautical theme, you're just going to add a gold um, anchor to the ring finger. So as you can see on my right hand, I did it on an angle and it's pointing towards the left. So on my left hand, I'm going to make it pointing towards the right, just so that they're the same on both sides. So I'm going to be taking my gold polish on my thin tipped brush, like that, and I'm just going to start by making a straight line going down, about that far. The length of your nails will definitely vary on the size of your anchor, but for my length of nails, mine's going to be like that. So next you're going to want to curve it to make the curve of the anchor. You don't want to work with too much polish, polish on your brush. After we have a shape like that where the line goes down and it goes out in a U shape on both sides, kind of like a W, 
you're going to go ahead and make a little ball at the top. Like that. Then the finishing touch to the gold anchor is just to make a line going across. Like that. Now an optional step is to add just a touch of gold glitter. So I'm just going to do that. Now your super trendy nautical themed nails are complete. I hope you guys found this very simple and I thought it was a very unique design. There are many um, other nautical nailed uh, nail tutorials on YouTube but I thought mine was unique and I haven't seen anything out there like it. Um, you guys just want to complete the look by adding your favorite top coat just to seal in all your hard work and preserve this design. I hope it matches all of your nautical um, themed clothing because I know that is definitely a huge trend for spring and summer. I hope it was just a fun design for all of you guys to recreate and definitely go ahead and add your own spin on it if there's anything you want to add. Um, you can add comments below and let me know what you would add to this tutorial but this is just what I thought uh, came up with and I thought was really cute. Anyways so I hope you guys are all having an awesome day and please look out for more nail tutorials soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.